Welcome to Mathematics Session Number System. Let's find the decimal expansions of a few rational numbers. Consider a rational number 10 upon 3. To find the decimal expansion, 10 is divided by 3. Here, 10 is a dividend, 3 is a divisor. 3, 3 times is 9. On subtraction, we get 1 as a remainder. Since the remainder 1 is smaller than the divisor, place a decimal point and add a 0. 3 3 times is 9. On subtraction, the remainder is 1 again. Add a 0. Since we have already placed a decimal point, 3 3 times is 9. On subtraction, we again get 1 as the remainder. Add a 0, 3 3 times is 9. On subtraction, we get 1 as a remainder again. The remainder 1 continues. Here, the division does not end. Hence, the decimal expansion of the rational number 10 upon 3 is 3.333 and 3 repeats. Consider another example of a rational number 7 upon 8. Here, 8 is the divisor and 7 is the dividend. Since the dividend 7 is smaller than the divisor, place a decimal point and add a 0. 8, 8 times is 64. On subtraction, we get 6 as the remainder. Add a 0 since already we have placed a decimal point. 8, 7 times is 56. On subtraction, we get 4 as a remainder. Adding 0, 8, 5 times is 40. The remainder is 0. Here, the division ends. Hence, the decimal expansion of the rational number 7 upon 8 is 0 0.875. Consider another example of a rational number 1 upon 7. Here, the dividend is 1 and the divisor is 7. Since the dividend is smaller than the divisor, place a decimal point in the quotient and add a 0. 7 1 times is 7. On subtraction, we get the remainder as 3. Add a 0 since we have already placed a decimal point. 7, 4 times is 28. On subtraction, we get 2 as a remainder. Add a 0. 7 twice is 14. On subtraction, we get 6 as a remainder. Add a 0. 7, 8 times is 56. On subtraction, we get 4 as a remainder. Add a 0. 7, 5 times is 35. The remainder on subtraction is 5. Add a 0. 7. 7 times is 49. On subtraction, the remainder is 1. After a certain stage, the remainders keep repeating. Here the division does not end. Hence, the decimal expansion of 1 upon 7 is 0 0.14. 2857 and the numbers repeat. Well, here we observe the remainders in each stage are smaller than the divisors. We observe the decimal expansion of the rational number 10 upon 3 as 3.5. 3 bar. The bar indicates the digit 3 repeats. For 7 upon 8, it is 0 0.875. And for 1 upon 7, it is 0 0.142857. And the bar over the digits indicates the block of digits repeats. The decimal expansion of 10 upon 3 is non terminating recurring. For 7 upon 8, it is terminating. 
For 1 upon 7, it is non-terminating recurring. Thus, we conclude from the observations that the remainders either become 0 after a certain stage or start repeating themselves. The number of entries in the repeating string of remainders is less than the divisor. If the remainders repeat, then we get a repeating block of digits in the quotient. Thus, the decimal expansion of a rational number is either terminating or non-terminating recurring or the number whose decimal expansion is terminating or non-terminating recurring is rational. Now we are going to discuss the decimal expansions of irrational numbers. We observe here the decimal expansion of irrational numbers square root 2, cube root 5, pi are never ending and never repeat. Hence they cannot be expressed in the form p upon q. Thus the decimal expansion of an irrational number is non-terminating, non-recurring or a number whose decimal expansion is non-terminating, non-recurring is irrational. Remember, the approximate value of pi is 22 upon 7, but pi is not exactly equal to 22 upon 7. 22 upon 7 is a rational number. The first question in the exercise 1.3 reads like this. Write the following in decimal form and say what kind of decimal expansion each has. First question is 36 upon 100. This can easily be converted to decimal form without actual division. Since the denominator is 1 followed by 2 zeros, the decimal point is placed after 2 digits that is 0 0.36. Second one is 1 upon 11. Let's see how it could be expressed as 0 0.09 bar. Here, the dividend is 1, the divisor is 11. Since it is smaller than 11, place a decimal point in the quotient and add a 0. Still, it cannot be divided. So, add a 0 in the quotient to maintain the place value and add another 0. 11 9 times is 99. The remainder is 1. Adding a single 0, the number cannot be divided since it is smaller than 11. So place a 0 in the quotient and add another 0 to the remainder. 11 9 times is 99. The remainder is 1. The remainder 1 repeats. Hence the digits in the quotient also repeats. Hence, the decimal form of 1 upon 11 is 0 0.09 bar. The third question is the mixed fraction 4 1 upon 8. Converting it to the improper fraction 4 into 8 32 plus 1 33 upon 8. Let's see how it could be expressed as 4.125. Here, the dividend is 33. The divisor is 8. 8 4 times is 32. The remainder is 1. Place a decimal point in the quotient. Add a 0. 8 1 times is 8. The remainder is 2. Add a 0. 8 twice is 16. The remainder is 4. Add a 0. 8 5 times is 40. The remainder is 0. The division ends. We observe in each case the decimal expansion of 36 upon 100 is terminating. 1 upon 11 is non-terminating recurring and 4 1 upon 8 is terminating. Let's write the decimal form and the decimal expansion of 3 upon 13. The dividend is 3, the divisor is 13. Since 3 is smaller than 13, place a decimal point in the quotient and add a 0. 13 twice is 26. On subtraction we get the remainder as 4. 
add a zero since we have already placed a decimal point. 13 thrice is 39. On subtraction we get the remainder as 1. Add a zero. Still the remainder is smaller than the divisor. To maintain the place value, add a zero to the quotient and add another zero to the remainder. 13 7 times is 91. On subtraction we get the remainder as 9. Add a 0. 13 6 times is 78. On subtraction we get the remainder as 12. Add a 0. 13 9 times is 117. The remainder is 3. After a certain stage the remainders repeat. Hence the digits even in the quotient also repeats. Let's take another question 2 upon 11. The divisor is 11. The dividend is 2 which is smaller than the divisor. Place a decimal point in the quotient and add a 0. 11 1 times is 11. On subtraction we get the remainder as 9. Since we have already placed a decimal point add a 0. 11 8 times is 88. On subtraction we get the remainder as 2. Add a 0. 11 1 times is 11. On subtraction we get the remainder as 9. Add a 0. 11 8 times is 88. The remainder again is 2. The remainders repeat. Let's take another question. 329 upon 400. Here, the dividend is 329 and the divisor is 400. So, place a decimal point in the quotient and add a 0. 400 8 times is 3200. On subtraction, we get the remainder as 90. Add a 0. 400 twice is 800. On subtraction, we get the remainder as 100. Add a 0. 400 twice is 800. On subtraction we get the remainder as 200. Add a 0. 400 5 times is 2000. The remainder is 0. Well, the decimal form and the decimal expansion of these rational numbers are 3 upon 30 is 0 0.230769 bar and it is a non-terminating recurring. 2 upon 11 is 0 0.18 bar. It is non-terminating recurring and 329 upon 400 is 0 0.8225 and it is terminating. The second question reads like this. You know that 1 upon 7 is 0 0.142857 bar. Can you predict what the decimal expansions of 2 upon 7, 3 upon 7, 4 upon 7, 5 upon 7, 6 upon 7 are without actually doing the long division? If so, how? 2 upon 7 could be written as 2 into 1 upon 7 which is equal to 2 into 0 0.14287 bar which gives 0 0.285714 bar. Similarly, 3 upon 7 could be written as 3 into 1 upon 7. Multiplying, we get 0 0.428571 bar. Similarly, 4 upon 7 could be written as 4 into 1 upon 7 which gives 0 0.571428 bar. In the same manner, 5 upon 7 could be written as 5 into 1 upon 7 which gives 0 0.714285 bar. Finally, 6 upon 7 could be written as 6 into 1 upon 7 
which gives 0.857142 bar.